charged with murder in the first degree. Tonight, a Henderson County man sits in jail facing new charges in the beating that happened more than two decades ago. 50-year-old Kenneth Guthrie had already served time for leaving his victim paralyzed. Well, today, a grand jury indicted him on new charges after the woman recently died. News 13's Kimberly King broke this story tonight on Facebook and Twitter. She's streaming live in Rutherford County where she just got through talking with the victim's mother. Frank, Vicki King is filled with emotion, but also now at peace, hoping that finally her daughter will get justice. Um, I cried when the detective called me today and told me that he had been arrested. Mom Vicki King has waited more than two decades hoping for justice for her beautiful daughter Jackie. Now a grand jury has indicted 50-year-old Kenneth Nelson Guthrie for her murder. Just flashbacks of what we've been through and... Uh, you know, what she went through, too. It was 23 years ago, December 1990, when 19-year-old Jackie had been to a party with her boyfriend, Guthrie. They got in a fight. Investigators reported he dragged her and violently beat her. The doctor said he, count, he quit counting after 200 boot marks on her body. She had two and a half inches of mud in both nostrils and in both ears and in her mouth. The doctor said Jackie's spinal cord was severed likely by the first kick. She was a quadriplegic. At the beginning, her mom says she had her mind, but all the medicines took their toll to the end when family gathered at her bedside to sing and say goodbye. It's uh, only by God that I've made it. I can tell you that. In 91, Guthrie was convicted for assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. But of a 20-year sentence, Jackie's family says Guthrie only served a few years. After Jackie passed last December, the medical examiner ruled her death a homicide. Authorities now convened a grand jury charging Guthrie with murder. I believe he should pay for what he's done. Even though it's been 22 years, he's affected the lives of my entire family. My daughter's gone and we can't bring her back. But maybe through justice, it'll keep this from happening to somebody else. Jackie's family took her on a final vacation last December. She went fishing, and they said she had joy in her heart. Her entire family for decades, along with friends, have taken, had taken care of her throughout this ordeal. And Guthrie has his initial court appearance at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning in Henderson County. Reporting live in Rutherford County, Kimberly King, News 13.